Hello, how's it going? This is regarding the C++ OpenGL series. I've had some comments, and I figure this will probably be helpful for a lot of people, saying, hey, this is great, but I'm just having trouble setting it up in Windows. Now, in this series, I've really been focusing on CMake stuff, but if you were to look way back at my old videos, I was using Visual Studio, and in Windows, Visual Studio is a pretty reasonable way to run all of this. So what I'm going to do in this video is we're just going to, it's like improv jazz, we're just going to go through it, we're going to set this up in Visual Studio. So first thing we'll need is we'll need to open up Visual Studio. Hopefully you've got Visual Studio, it's the community version is the community version is free, so there's that. Uh, but anyway, we'll just open up Visual Studio, go create a new project, and I don't know, we'll just go empty project C++ looks good, next, and we'll call it whatever we want. I, I really, I'm really not too bothered. You can call it fart if you want. Um, I think I've probably got a project one already. Let's just go ahead and make one. Okay, so this is going to be called project one. It's in a folder somewhere, and it doesn't really matter. So if we go, don't check this off, it'll just create another folder. And I, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so there we go. We'll set, set this up. Enjoying Visual Studio. We just opened it. How can we know? Okay, so we open up our folder. We go in here, Project 1. Okay, great. We have the stuff. Now, what am I thinking? We are going to need, um, going to need to make a, a source file. So we'll just go right click and add. I'll we'll just call this new item. We could also add existing items if we wanted. I'm just going to call this main.cpp. Okay. Great. Now, you notice that we've got all this extra stuff, but that is not here. So these are, these are really, they're called filters. They're basically like virtual folders. If we just click, where is it? Show all files, that will show the actual files which are associated with this project. So what we'll do is we'll just open up the source code from the previous video, and we'll just go in here to the first one and grab the finished coding and get that. So we'll go into the source and then this main. We'll copy all of that, paste it. Let's see, we have a bunch of errors. That's fine, we'll get onto that. And then we'll just go, basically we're just setting everything up. So we'll go add a new config. Okay, we'll grab that one as well. Okay, so far so good. We just need to bring in these these libraries. So we just need uh, basically GLAD, GLFW3, and I guess we don't really need GLM at the moment. But we'll need these ones to start with. So. We could grab these from the the GitHub, but it's probably a good idea to grab fresh installs. So we'll just go over here to GLFW, download, and this is probably the, the way to go here, these pre-compiled binaries. So I'll just go ahead and extract the, the folder. There we go. It's not It's not really that exciting. Okay, so here I have extracted and pasted the folder. So this is all this GLFW3 stuff. If we go in here, there are a bunch of things. We've got this include folder. That's important. We've got all those headers. We'll need those. And then we've also got these libs. So these are based on our specific environment. I'm using Visual Studio. Uh, 2022, so I'll be interested in this one in here. We have this um, dynamic library, DLL. We've also got these um, 
lib these library files if we want to statically include the library in our thing. So just thinking, okay, so what are we going to do? We're just going to grab the include stuff. Actually, you know what? So this is the way I like to structure my projects. It's there's nothing too special about it, but what I'll do is I'll just go um, dependencies and then paste that in there. And then I also need the, the library, so I'll go grab that. I'm thinking out loud. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this to lib. It's going to hold all of my libraries. And I think the only one I'm really interested in is just glfw3. Okay, great. So mm, let's go ahead and get glad as well. So we'll just go, yeah, we'll just search for glad, download, and we'll run the loader just as we did in the previous video. Uh, yeah, C++, C++ that's all good. Go with 4.5 because that's fairly, I mean, we could, we all we need is 3.3, .3, but why not? Cool. It really doesn't. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, great. So we'll just... Okay, so I realize probably a lot of this has gone on behind the scenes, but it's really just unzipping, copy-pasting all of that. So here we are in the project folder. We've got the dependencies. They currently have everything we need for GLFW, the windowing library. We can get rid of that. And now we have GLAD. Now, in GLAD, we have these headers. And we also have this source code. Now this is an actual source code. So what I'll do is I'll just grab that source code, put that back in here with the rest of the project. And then I'll grab these bits from the include folder, put them in here in dependencies. And fingers crossed we should be a little bit closer to getting this working. So what I'll do is we'll have to include the the glad thing as well. I think if we go this is refresh. Yeah, we can see we've got all this new stuff. Now this glad file is here, but it has not been registered as part of the project. So what we need to do is just go add existing item and then that file. Now it's registered. Okay, excellent. And now we just need to get this stuff going. So what we can do is we can right click on the project and go to properties. And now this is super important. I like to have this on all configurations, debug or release, and just make sure we're on, you know, 64 bit. Otherwise that should be fine. Now I'll just go, there are two really important parts. It's directories, and then linker input. But we'll start with directories first. So we'll look at the include directories. And we'll make a new one. And there's a, a macro that I like to use. Project directory. And that is, it evaluates to the, the folder that we're in, the relative folder that we're in. So go project directory and then dependencies and I'll just double check that that has evaluated correctly. So if we look down here, that has evaluated to uh, dev CPP project one dependencies. Note that the project dir directory includes that, that trailing slash. So if we hit okay and then apply, we'll see that those errors go away, but that doesn't mean that the thing's working. If we were to run this, we would probably get some weird errors. Okay, so as we can see down here, it says, um, yeah, unresolved external symbol. That's strange. And what that comes down to is, yes, we can find the header files, but can we find the source files? The answer is no, we can't. So we'll just go down to library directories. If I've got that right, project directory lib, oops, give that a go. And we're still, we're still getting these unresolved 
symbols. Hmm. And it's just the GLFW stuff. So this is a little bit weird for beginners, but here's essentially what we've got. And it is a little strange, but we have got uh, dependencies, we've got the headers, that's fine. Then we've got the library directory, and we're telling the project that, yeah, this is where the library folders are. This is a little strange, but we actually need to explicitly tell the project exactly what the libraries are that we're using. So this is glf w3.lib. I'll just get this out of the way. We'll go back to the project properties, and this is where we use the linker input. So we go to linker input, and then where are we? Additional dependencies, that's the one. Then in here we, we specify that the library folder we're after is called glfw3. <laughs> glfw3.lib. Okay, fingers crossed. Uh, it would not be, it would not be a, one of my tutorials if I didn't make some blinding error. I thought I caught it before with the GLFW3. Turns out there was another one. Okay, so of course if we look at this dev cpp project one lib. That directory does not exist. It needs to be dependencies lib. And now fingers crossed, that should be it. And there we have it. So that is how we create the project in Visual Studio. Now, there are some benefits to Visual Studio. The autocomplete is a lot better than um, what, I, what I've been doing before. But otherwise, I'm going to be focusing on the CMake. But hopefully this video has given you enough of an insight to where you can follow along in Visual Studio if you if that's what you want to do. But anyway, that'll be it from me. I hope you found this helpful and best of luck with your development stuff. Um, yeah, have a great one. All right. See ya. Bye.